Okay, so I want to take you through a virtual unboxing of the Afro DJ Mac Mega Brute Collection. So once you get the live pack, you're going to double click it. Live will read the information here, ask you where you want to install it. I'm going to pick my desktop. You can do it wherever you like to save your live projects. And now what we'll see inside my finder is I have this project folder. And in this project folder, there are the 10 different live sets with different types of instruments. There are simpler versions of these, which mean I'm using the simpler instrument and not sampler. That's great. If you don't own sampler or you don't own live suite, you can use these. Um, we have presets folder, the samples folder, and I have my Megabrute EP that I made, which contains four tracks only using the Megabrute instruments that I created in this live pack. Um, also in there are the actual live sets I used to create these songs so you can see how I made them and how I used automation and things like that. And again, there's simpler versions of those too. So I'm going to double click on one of these and we'll open the dirty triangle. So once you open up one of these live sets, what you're going to do is go under file, manage files, and then we're going to go to manage project. Live will scan the project. It's looking for all the presets, all the audio files, everything associated with this particular project. And once it's done, I'm going to click Export to Library. And now it's copying all these presets and all the samples into my library. And that says OK. And now what you do, you open up your Instrument Rack folder here. And you'll see the Afro DJ Mac Mega Brute Collection. And we have the sampler versions, which is 50 different instruments here. And we also have the simpler versions, which are the same 50 instruments except using simpler. So again, if you don't own sampler, you can use the simpler ones. So they're all right here. Now when I start a new live project, I can use it, these anywhere. So let's do that now. So now that I got a new live set going, I'm just going to drag any one of these in here. And I'll take maybe the dirty triangle and put this on my MIDI track. And you see what I have here is my instrument and a few different effects. And um, basically, I now have control over all these different parameters. I set up a filter with some LFO. So this is a double filter. Playing around with the triangle sound on the Mini Brute. One of the nice things about sampling this stuff, this instrument into Ableton is I can now use this instrument polyphonically instead of monophonically as it, the original is. Um, I'll give you another example. Um, this is an FM modulated version of that dirty triangle. So now I have a whole new set of effects to play around with here. I got some FM oscillation, which totally changes this thing up. Um, I can go in here, play with my attack and decay, so I can make more of like a plucky sound. Um, and so on and so forth. Um, I'll grab this one. And what I want you to notice is that each one of these instruments is a rack, but it has lots of racks within them. So this thing goes pretty deep, in my opinion. Here we have an arpeggiated kind of thing. This is called the Magic Pulse. I've got a bit crush on this one. Play with the low pass. All these different parameters here. We could go all the way over here, add some chorus. Play around with that effect. Lots of stuff you can do here. So there's 50 of these things here. Um, totally all kinds of different sounds and I really wanted to take the Mini Brute and bring it to the next level. So normally it's a monophonic synth. Um, now it's polyphonic. You can play octaves that are beyond the range of the instrument itself. So we can get like really high on some of these things. Let's try the metal tri-dub here. So here we have kind of like something designed to be more like your dubstep kind of thing. But um, as we go to like the high octaves here, you know, you can't access these on the Mini Brute itself. And you get all these interesting sounds way up in here, which I think are pretty cool. Um, might be useful in certain projects you have. So we're really expanding the capabilities of the Mini Brute with the Mega Brute collection here. I hope you find this interesting. I hope you enjoy the EP I made and I hope it 
makes you inspired to create your own songs and music with this pack. Thanks a lot for watching and enjoy.